Yo, what's up? It's your boy RC here. You know, it's another day on these suckers. All right. So, the day is Seeking Wednesday, so we're seeking these additional answers. I will listen to Robert Jeffries. That's his name. He was talking about Isaiah the prophet and his prophecies of having uh, divine intervention, wisdom from the future. You know, how would you like some wisdom from the future? But he was just saying a ways of how I could believe in God is by watching these prophecies, looking for this evidence. And that's what it was about. That's what Seeking Winces is about. What's that all on my face? It's looking for evidence. Looking for evidence. You know, of the connection. You know, these things are not happenstance. They're not fake. But they evidence. And that's what he's looking for. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for. So I can tap into it. I mean, we know that it's true just by, cause we can see, you know, it ain't all happenstance. But let me tell you about what happened last night. My daughter finally, she said, uh, dad, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I sold my MacBook Pro. So I already knew that. She said, how you knew that? I didn't tell you that. I say, what else you gonna sell that guy? I mean, what else did you have that a millionaire wanted besides a MacBook Pro? I mean, you could have bought it anyway, you know, but that was just your divine connection. But I knew you had uh, sold that that day. Why, because I hadn't been using it? I say, no, nah, but I say, but the real question is, is why did you say it like that? Dad, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Like I was gonna be sad or upset or something like that. Well, I figured you would be since you were so happy that I had got it. And I said, Asia, you know, I'm on a different level now, you know, to the average job. I didn't give it to you. I mean, you definitely purchased it. It was yours. It wasn't mine. See, I, I just saw that how happy you was. I said, look, I won't get happy anyway, you know. I'm looking for things to be happy for. So I enjoyed that happiness, but look, that's what you and I just got through talking about. Because we, I was telling her about the one thing in her word for this year. She said, I already know my word. My word is freedom. I said, yeah, everybody, you know, I ain't say everybody, but everybody kind of got that same word, but is they going to embody that word is what the deal is. That means you doing everything you can to embody that, that freedom. She want the freedom of speech and freedom of that. You know, that's the freedom. Like my boy Creflo Dollar said the same thing. He said, man, if you can get freedom from what other people think about you, man, shoot, you're free indeed. So the word about what somebody else going to say, you know, if you ask somebody that, hey, look, man, you, you care what they're going to say, man, I don't care about what they say. But yet the actions show that they do. Classic example. Most people won't shoot videos like this. They, they're afraid, you know, somebody gonna say something. Me too, me too, right? Me too. Hopefully by the time you see this, your boy done put down about five years of foundations on the suckers. That's why I ain't been reading no posts. It don't matter. I'm documenting this thing because I'm keeping this thing on my own journey, man, so I can strengthen this muscle in here. That's why I'm doing this every day, right? You know, I'm going to document it, and if a couple of people get a couple of nuggets along the way, that's fantastic. But, back to the thing. I was showing her the four agreements. I said, look, you can't take things per Dad, that's easy said and done. I said, look, you need to It is. But that's why you got to listen to the four agreements. And this is what makes not taking things personally easier that's doing your best the way they explained it in the book I told you that it died back in the book I'm telling you by me doing my best then I don't get a judge and the victim you know they don't, they don't have a say because I did my best see I'm not going to be a victim you can't judge me because I did my best hey did you do the best you can to get that that person that deal, yes, I did. So if it don't come up, if you get a no, a no is a perfectly good answer. You 
see what I'm saying? And most no's is normally not now instead of no's. They're normally just not now's. But yeah, so I'm trying to go over that with her. You know, I got this this over the kitchen sink. You know, it's, it's top of mind. And she said she had been talking to this millionaire too, asking him questions and stuff on how this and do that and, you know, how to get started and all that. And she said, as he was telling me, I already knew that stuff. And I said, yeah, precisely. We all know that stuff. It ain't the knowing, it's the doing. And the reason the doing is tough is because the domino too big. He said the same thing about the, uh, she, about, about setting the dominoes up. Then she even mentioned something out of, out of the uh, One Thing book. She said, I heard that something. I said, yeah, that was from the One Thing. She said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I said, I'm telling you, there's good stuff in that book. I didn't put these books plastered around this house for nothing. I've done extensive research. Then these books has had the biggest impact on my life than anything else. So if you ain't got the one, if you ain't got the Bible number one, you need to get that, right? That's it, that's you. Then you gotta get the one thing. Then you gotta get the four agreements. Then I top that all off with the go for no. Oh my goodness, yeah. See, man, don't do right there. Man, that's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. You can do it, you can do it. I'm popping off right here. I ain't wanna go too fussy, so I'm gonna pop off right here. But uh, yeah, we had us a nice good little talk. Didn't have as good a talk with my son. I gotta go and engage him. See, he has to be engaged. Have to be engaged, see. It ain't nothing for my daughter, and she, cause she on the quest. She not jump the hump. She trying to, what she trying to do is figure this life out, right? Cause he told her something that everybody else already know. You gotta have a goal, a five year, 10 year goal, big enough pulling you forward. Then that goal is gonna affect what you say yes and no to right now. Sound for me. Anybody told us say that's the hardest part. Most people don't sit down long enough to come up with a goal that big. That's the hard part. That's why people don't know where they're going. They just out there. Same here, same here. You know, I got a work goal that I'm working towards. But I got a, and I got a family goal too. See, I told her my word was family. She said, "Yeah, yeah, I can see that you've been you've been rocking this family. Out. You've been trying to unify the family. That, that's my goal for this my home life. See, even though we want to, you know, get get your wife, we want a condo. You may want to do some remodeling and may want to get a different job. All this stuff, you know, that first domino is first strength in the family. First strength, in, you know, my relationship with the Lord, strengthening myself." Me and my relationship with my wife, me and my relationship with my family. It goes out just like that. That's how it goes out. If I get that strong, man, that strong core, man, you can build anything on it. You can build it. Matter of fact, you get that strong core, man, it's get it's that strong core is like gravity. It's just gonna start attracting everything to it. That's where this thing was set up, man. Oh, man, that's so beautiful. Man, hey, Lord, hey, the Lord set it up all beautiful, man. It's just all beautiful. That gravity. The law of gravity. It works. You know, mentally, everything. It, 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 everything is attracted to everything else. The law of attraction. But God set that law up, though. You see what I'm saying? It's set up. Somebody created that law. But a lot of times people, you know, don't mean to go off on a tangent. A lot of times people mistake the creation over the creator. You know, I can't idolize the law of attraction or the law of gravity over God who created it. You see what I'm saying? But that's what we do sometimes. God said, man, if you scared of something, man, you might well bow down, get on your knees, man, and pray to it, because that's your God. You gotta go, you gotta overcome the fear, brother. You gotta overcome them. So, man, you know, me and my daughter, we talk. Me and my son, I'm gonna get with him tonight. Just, just chitter chatter with him. Chitter chatter. We like the pitter patter. So, I'm gonna get with him on that. 
just see where he's going, you know, just to, to, I'm gonna get him to, you know, to them, to her, I can't even go to four quarters. I told she, hey, you may need to check out the seven habits of highly effective people. She said, what is it? She said, uh, is it like, you know, one of the habits getting up early? Cause she wanted to go, go around and start getting up early. Now I'm saying, I don't think, I think it's all mental stuff. All inside stuff. That could be part of getting up early, but that's all inside stuff that I'm talking about. Inside the mind. So she had listed the seven habits. So I printed the four quadrants out for her. She said, hey, this is eerily for me. I said, yeah, that's right, because I raised y'all on the quadrants. I was popping them quadrants in back then. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I said, yeah, we just have to kind of get back into it. All we gotta do is just kind of get back into it. Get back into it. Yeah. So I printed that out. Let it go through that. Man, that was a refresher for myself. You know what I'm saying? I refreshed myself on that. All right, I'm pulling up. I'm finna go ahead and do it to this part of my life. Do it to it. You do it to your life. I do it to mine. Peace out. But this man got some cats out here. Look like some dogs, all oh, them dogs, yeah. Them cats ain't gonna be running like that. Thought he had a chicken right there. Peace out.